kids that are, I'm like, what? That some kid will come out of this and be like, I want to be an oyster farmer. What does a kid do if they want to be an oyster farmer besides get an A in marine biology, ocean science yeah. class? Uh, well, talk to your local uh, Sea Grant Extension agent. Oh, okay. Put in a plug. Yeah. Um, so this is farming. Yeah. Uh, and it is a, a mix of many skills. And especially when you're beginning, you have to try to do all those things because no one else, you can't afford to hire someone to yep. do all those things. So it's a mixture of just being a farmer, knowing how to take care of your animals and be careful and take good notes and knowing what your animals need. You always have to be observant. Um, you have to be willing to work hard and to work when you need to work. Um, some skill in uh, loading is helpful with uh, constructing equipment and repairing equipment is good. Um, if you're thinking about this as a business, well then you need to think that way. So that means um, some business management, some financial management, um, and all those things come together and more. So marketing, sales and marketing, for example, yeah. customer relations. Um, there's a lot of little pieces to it. Um, and so the way to start, I suppose, and this is going to sound silly, is to simply start. Because there's no cookbook, people come at this from all kinds of different ways. But what happens is once you start, you find out what you know and what you don't know. What you don't know, you can then work on. Um, and um, it's cliche, but cliches are true, and it's like that onion. You start off with a scent for the onion and you know a little bit, and then pretty soon your perspective changes and you're one layer out. Um, and you just keep growing and building skills that way. So when I speak with new growers, usually what I um, advise to them is say is definitely start because that's how you're really going to learn. But start at a, at a small, manageable level because uh, if you want to grow oysters, you can learn just as much by making a mistake with five or 10,000 oysters yeah. as 100,000 or a million. Right. That makes sense. So that's what I'm saying. Just like if you want to be a dairy farmer, you should start with like 10 head of cat, yeah. cattle. Don't start with, don't start with 100 head of cattle. That's a lot. Yeah. Cool. That's very good. Awesome.